This video shows how to add automatic satin stitch outlines to your lettering. Um, well, you can add it to any digitized objects for that matter, but we concentrate on the lettering in particular. Now, it is the key word here is to add satin stitch outline to the digitized letterings, to your stock fonts, to the ones that are included in your Sierra library. Not true type fonts. If you want to do this with true type fonts, it's a lot easier just to go and grab a true type font style from your true type gallery that already has a satin stitch outline. Uh, in this case, this shows how to grab an existing digitized font uh, and add a satin stitch outline to it. So, what we'll do here is click on the lettering icon and let's type in there USF and we'll go ahead and do some uh, density settings and whatnot. Let's say that we do 5.2 density, uh, three levels of short stitches, um, some edge walk underlay. The defaults on the underlay are pretty good. Um, pull compensation, knowing this is going to be a satin stitch outline, sewing on top of these letters, I'm going to put a point 0.3 there. Now, I'm running in metric, as you can see up here. If you are running in inches, then this is three points for you. Okay, but if you're in metric, like I am, then it's 0 0.3. Now, by the way, you can always save. Once you do all your settings here, you can save those for future usage. So we're going to call those, I guess we might as well call them USF settings. So we're going to hit OK to that. OK, now we're going to click OK. Make sure that we use the USF settings and click OK. And there's our lettering. comes up on the screen. Look at your object manager we got one string of text so if you want to add a quick satin stitch outline to this you turn it into sections or explode so your object manager now shows you all the different objects select it and there's the borderline tab in your object inspector now right now your object inspector is not quite showing you that okay there's a reason for that if you look carefully one of the object types 1, 2, 4, and 5 were all column or satin stitches. Number 3 there, it's a path, okay? It comes as part of the F, I guess, and it's that line right there. But what you can do in your object inspector right here is you can ask the software to only show you the settings that apply to the satin stitches, to the column objects. And now you can see the borderline there, and we're going to make that a satin stitch. And we can apply different settings and whatnot, the size, the density, the path layout, the short stitches. But this exercise just goes through the basics of how to add a satin stitch outline. After you do that, you can specify you know, the density that you want and everything else, which you can do right here, by the way. So we're looking at this, and it looks good. The U and the S certainly do, but look at the F, OK? If you were to zoom in there, you're going to realize that what's happening, it's actually sewing, there's the end of the S, it's sewing the crossbar followed by the outline, followed by the rest of the leg, followed by the outline of the rest of the, of the F. Okay? So you actually got about four layers of stitching right there, because you got two already, and then you still got a third one coming in, and you got a fourth one coming in. That's not what you would normally want for an outline of a letter like that, okay? So how do we fix that? Well, first of all, we select that letter F, and we remove that borderline, because obviously it's not doing what we expect it to. Now, while it's still selected, by the way, let me turn my 3D off there, so we can look at just the stitches. While it's still selected, look at your ribbon, okay? In Design Max Pro, you have the ability to convert to vector, or Design Max Expert 2, of course. So now that we did that, look at your object manager. You got two vector objects, okay? I'm going to deselect, and I'm going to turn my sections off. So now all you're looking at on your screen is the two vector objects that came from the stitch object that was the letter F. Now I can select those objects and I can move my nodes, I can reshape and whatnot. 
but right now all I want to do with it is select both vector objects and from the combine menu make them one okay now that I did that I can go ahead and add a satin stitch or convert that into a satin stitch of course my sections are off so you can't quite see what's happening there let me turn my sections back on now object number six there is a single object and we probably want to make that color too so we see what's going on and now that I've got it selected I can make it a path that's another reason why you need Design Max Pro okay this feature right here is available on Design Max Pro an expert convert section to path it gives you a preview so you can see the before and after and of course we want the contour so it does the the whole outside of the letter if we did the spine then it would just put a satin stitch right down the center of the letter we want it right outside and while we're at it pick satin stitch hit OK and there's our satin stitch outline now that's awfully thick there and this is why we've been doing I guess 2.5 and that's came out to 4 because it's a separate object so we're gonna put it to the same 2.5 as the rest now at this point that vector we don't need it anymore so I might as well go ahead and delete it so basically that's how you add satin stitch outlines to um, digitized lettering okay when it's a single letter a single object letter then it works great like it did on the U like it did on the S but when your letter has more than one object then you don't want to use the basic automatic outline because that would outline every piece of your letter so what you want to do instead is make that letter into vectors so then you can combine it all into a single vector object that then you can make into a satin stitch outline let's run through that real quick again let me select all my letters there and delete it so we were doing lettering we're going to type in USF by the way that's University of South Florida it's coming up on needle number two as I can see I'm going to select it all and make it come up on needle number one and we are going to pick a stitch type and it's a good thing that we pre-save those so we wouldn't have to type all those settings again notice that when I'm using the default it's using 4.5 density uh, one level of shore stitches no underlay by going to the preset USF settings then I'm it's using whatever I told it to save last time and again that was that icon right there okay so I hit OK text comes up on the screen turn it into sections or explode okay now I got the U, the S, the F so for the U and the S I can just select those two and I can just add the satin stitch outline for that from right here and now for the F I can select the F and of course I could have done it to all three letters and then once I realized that the F wouldn't work out then I could you know remove it and all that knowing in advance that the F is not going to do it I might as well select the F separately and just make it a vector now here we got the two vectors we're going to select those two pieces combine them into one now that we have one vector we can make it a satin stitch probably in color number two and now that we did that we can make that a path with a satin stitch and again of course it keeps coming back to that four let's make it 2.5 real quick and that's how you can add automatic outlines we don't need that vector anymore by the way let me go ahead and delete that that's how you can add satin stitch outlines around multiple objects okay in this case a letter that had more than one segment on it or you can just use the basic automatic outline to add two letters you know that are single object letters